Hey everyone, welcome to the year update and Q&A video for 2022. As a quick recap, 2021 was a very exciting year for the channel, passing the milestone of 700,000 subscribers and 600 million video views. We got an extremely rare opportunity to see the Siemens Mobility Plant, where the newest passenger locomotives in the United States are being assembled. Additionally, we got to hear about a group called the T1 Trust that's in the process of building a brand new full-sized mainline steam locomotive. In celebration of Amtrak's 50th anniversary last year, a whole bunch of special Amtrak videos were posted throughout the year, with at least one new Amtrak video every month. The retirement of the San Diego Coaster F40 locomotives and subsequent introduction of brand new Siemens Charger locomotives were both recognized with two different coaster videos. There were only two episodes of Train Talk in 2021, but to supplement this, the new Heritage Unit Profiles series made a debut with episodes on Amtrak 156 and Union Pacific 1983. And finally, to finish everything off, Steam Trains Galore returned for the ninth video in the series, and we had a very special music video featuring the Union Pacific Big Boy with a brand new original song by S.J. Armstrong. As we approach the next big milestone of three quarters of a million subscribers this year, I have a lot already planned for the weeks ahead. More episodes of Train Talk, Heritage Unit Profiles, and Trains Galore are expected throughout 2022. I'm also hoping to finally launch my series on freight trains at some point this year, and possibly some others. Many of you have requested additional long-distance Amtrak videos as well. Five of them are currently in the process of being filmed with two or three close to completion. I'm hoping to have at least one if not two out before the end of the year. My initial intent was to do these videos in a style that would combine both onboard clips like the auto train video and on the ground passbys like the Coast Starlight Project. However, if I am unable to get onboard video this year, I will just release the videos as planned, similar to the way the Coast Starlight video was done, and I will do separate videos on each of the routes in the future that focus more on riding the train. As for travel plans, as you are seeing this, I am most likely already on my first trip of the year off to capture a steam locomotive I've never seen before, with perhaps a few stops along the way. I also have plans to return to California as well as a tentative plan to visit the East Coast later this year. And finally, I will hopefully be able to once again follow Union Pacific 4014 if it makes another excursion this year. One last note is that December of 2022 marks 20 years since I began filming trains. I don't have anything specific to announce at this time, but I am planning on doing something special for that milestone. Well, that's it for the update. I had to once again keep it short because I received an unprecedented number of questions. For the Q&A, I received close to 500 individual questions from hundreds of people. Some of the more common ones I will try to condense into one or two responses. Additionally, I may not answer every question for the people that ask multiple questions in an effort to save time. And with that, let's try to answer some questions. Have you ever operated a locomotive at a museum before, like the Southern California Railway Museum Run One program? Uh, yes, I did the Run One program at the Southern California Railway Museum back when it was still the Orange Empire Railway Museum. Uh, I did that with Santa Fe FP45 number 98. I have a video of me running it somewhere. Can you give me any tips to be successful at YouTube and what's the easiest way to a thousand subscribers? Um, well, there's really no easy way. Uh, I had my YouTube channel for a good five years before I hit 2,000 subscribers. Uh, think about all different aspects in terms of your initial filming, your editing, and then when you upload your video, how you present it in terms of the title and the thumbnail and whatnot. What is the craziest catch of your entire channel's history? I'd still probably have to say 3751 meeting Coaster F40 2105. That's why I had it as my intro for so many years. What equipment do you use to film your videos and what's your favorite train you've filmed to date? Um, I use the Canon XF400 and the favorite train I've filmed, maybe Amtrak Cascades. Least favorite locomotive and why? Um, not really sure. Have you ever forgotten to start recording or lost footage? Yes, I've done that a number of times. I remember one time I forgot to press record for a surfliner that was coming into Santa Barbara and I ended up going back the next morning to film the same train. <laughs> 
Does running this channel get expensive? Yes, it can get very expensive between equipment and travel. Have you ever been in a sketchy situation while filming? I guess that depends on what you mean by sketchy. I've definitely filmed in some not so great parts of town. Will your channel name ever change again? Uh, no plans to change the channel name. Is there someone who inspired you making these videos? Nothing in particular, but I did really like watching some of the Skyfire and Pentrex videos when I was younger. Are you going to Oregon soon? Um, I will be passing through there next week. Are you doing any Amtrak stuff this year? Definitely. Are you doing an SC44 video about them? Um, I have an SC44 compilation scheduled for the end of this month. What's your favorite freight car? The box car. Is everyone ready for a brand new year? Hopefully. What are your thoughts on Coaster's new scheme? It's okay, but I like the old one better. Could you do a train talk about the GG1? Possibly at some point. What steam engines do you want to see in 2022, 4014, 1309, and a bunch of others? Do you like Burlington Northern or Santa Fe trains better? I like Santa Fe trains, but the Burlington Northern routes. Will you be visiting British Columbia? Hopefully soon. Is there any news on 3751's restoration? Uh, nothing new. Will you be visiting Missouri anytime soon? Uh, possibly later this year. Pick one. Which steam locomotive is your favorite? 3751 or 4014? 4014. Do you think you will upload a video of the Amtrak Acela? Yes, I will definitely upload one more video of the Acela. Hopefully I will have a chance to catch it in 4K too. What made you start making train videos? Um, I wanted to make a video about my local commuter train because there wasn't much on the subject at the time. Would you like to see the new Acela? Sure. Uh, what's your favorite Amtrak 50th anniversary unit, 301? Uh, have you seen a train in the Philippines? Uh, I've not, but that'd be fun. What trains are you planning on seeing in 2022? Hopefully UP 4014 for one, uh, some more ALC 42s, and maybe some stuff back east along with a whole bunch of other stuff. What is your favorite train outside the US? Probably the Flying Scotsman, but I like a lot of the other British steam locomotives, especially the A4 Pacifics. Uh, I also like some of the Australian locomotives too, like the uh, J-Class. What is your favorite GE diesel locomotive? Um, the Dash 8. When will the ALC42 go into revenue service? Uh, very soon, most likely. Will you ever do a video for the P40DC like you did for the F40PH? Uh, what kind of a video? I've done a few different F40 videos over the years. Uh, what video ideas do you have for train talk this year? I have a couple on some railroads and locomotives that were very heavily requested. Uh, maybe one on railroad photography and videography and uh, a few others. Will the Coaster F40s ever run again? Most likely not as per the Carl Moyer grant requirements. They're not allowed to run in the state of California again unless they're upgraded to tier 4, but you never know. Can you do a video on the Portland and Western Railroad? Possibly. Can you do a rail fan fail video? I've been thinking about doing a blooper video for a while. Uh, are there any lease units from Larry's Truck and Electric in the Pacific Northwest? Uh, possibly, but I don't know. What is your favorite tourist railroad to see trains? Uh, I don't really have one in particular, but I've really enjoyed going to the Durango and Silverton and the Cumbres and Toltec many times over the years. Will you ever consider seeing trains in Kentucky? I want to. Will you someday be able to see Nevada Northern 81? Yes. In all your years of rail fanning and making videos on YouTube, is there anything you would have done differently? Well, I wish I'd gotten into photography a little sooner. Uh, there are some skills and pieces of knowledge I wish I'd learned earlier, but honestly, I'm happy that I've been able to do as much as I have over the last two decades. In your opinion, what are some of the best spots to view trains in San Diego County? Uh, Del Mar and a number of spots in Carlsbad and Encinitas. Will you ever plan to see CNJ-113 pulling one of her excursions? I really want to see 113, but it can be really hard to plan to see it since I'm on the other side of the country. Will you film the new Blue Line in San Diego, also the SDIV in Miramar and Escondido locals? Will you try to visit Rockville, Maryland and Palm Springs Amtrak Station? Uh, maybe, and I've been to both those places before, but I'm not sure when I'll be back. Will you be making more Toy Trains Galore videos and Passenger Trains Galore and Christmas Trains Galore? Um, etc. etc. I'd like to make sequels to pretty much all those videos at some point, but I don't know when that might be. Will you ever film the Boone and Scenic Valley Railroad or the Midwest Central? Those are both on the list. 
Which do you prefer, Caltrain or Ace? Ace, why do you like the coaster so much? Uh, because it was my local commuter railroad for years when I was living in San Diego. What is your favorite state for rail fanning? I don't really have any one favorite, but the scenery in Washington is just terrific. What has been your best horn show? Uh, I have some older clips from many years ago uh, of some pretty neat stuff, so I'd probably have to dig back through those to pick something out. What is your favorite place to rail fan in the East Bay, Panol? What is the longest chase you've ever done? Uh, 4014 from Cheyenne to Ogden and then part of the way back. What is your favorite Durango and Silverton locomotive, if you have seen any yet? Um, I've seen just about all of them, and I've made many videos on the Durango and Silverton. Uh, probably the 486. What is your opinion on the Amtrak Cascade service? They're neat trains, and the ride's really nice. Have you filmed any trains in Flagstaff, Arizona before? Um, not right in the downtown area, but nearby, yes, I have. What is your favorite railroad to film? Amtrak for passenger, BNSF for freight. What is the oldest train you've seen? I've seen the Torch Lake at Greenfield Village in Dearborn, Michigan. Uh, that was built in 1873. It's the oldest operating one I've seen. Do you like Amtrak's new equipment? Yes, it's neat. Do you miss Metrolink and Amtrak F-59s? Uh, yes. Will you ride the Midcoast Trolley? Maybe. Can I get a heart from Coaster Fan 2105? Yes. Do you have any preference between the train honking and blowing their horns and whistles, or if they don't, for your video clips? Um, I like both. It's always nice to get a tap on the horn from the engineer, but it's neat to hear the engines working hard, too. Are you planning any trips to Michigan this year? Uh, nothing currently planned. When are you going to be posting videos from the Northwest Railway Museum in Snoqualmie? Uh, the first video is already done and ready to go. It should be coming out in February or March. What was that Union Pacific SD70 Ace leading a grain train in the sunset from 2014 video? Um, I don't remember. It's been a while. What other things do you enjoy doing outside of trains? Uh, well, I like all things photography and a bunch of other art forms as well, including music, painting, and animation. I also really like nature and traveling to different places, plants and animals, exploring. What was your first heritage unit slash special interest unit? Amtrak 145 in 2011, or if you count it, the Surfliner Operation Lifesaver uh, Amtrak 455 F59 PHI in 2008. What would you say were the biggest changes on Surfline from 2002 to 2010 and then 2010 to 2020? Um, so many different track improvement projects, new sidings, and now entire miles long sections of second main track. It's still a little strange for me to think that there are now two tracks all the way from downtown San Diego to the top of Miramar Hill. Uh, there's also a lot of new equipment. In fact, other than the cars, pretty much everything is new for both passenger and freight. Will you make an Arizona trains video? Uh, yes, I will be making state train videos for every state eventually. Do you know when the ALC 42s will take over the long distance routes and will you come to uh, Brea to film Union Pacific? Uh, they should be entering service very soon, within a month or two, and possibly. I'm doing my first ever solo trip this spring, taking Amtrak's Coast Starlet with a roommate. Do you have any advice for someone who has never taken a solo trip? Um, nothing specific, but have fun and enjoy it, and make sure you bring plenty of memory cards for your camera. What are your thoughts on the new Avalia Liberty? It's a really neat train, and I look forward to seeing it, but I will miss the old Acela. What was your favorite month in 2021? Uh, July. Do you have anything planned for when you hit 1 million subscribers in the coming future? Uh, I have a number of things that are in the works, but nothing to announce yet. What are your thoughts on the AEM-7s being tested on Caltrain? It's cool. Uh, do you plan to see any new steam locomotives in 2022, such as the uh, 2926, 1309, etc., etc.? Yeah, I have plans to see a few of them this year. Could you upload a compilation of first and second generation K5HL horns? Uh, that's actually something I was thinking about doing. Do you miss the Amtrak F59 PHI locomotives? Yes. Can you bring back rail fanning by location? Man, that's going back a ways. Um, I was actually thinking about bringing the series back for a one-time special episode for the channel's 10th anniversary back in 2018, but that didn't end up happening. It's always a possibility. Uh, does BNSS still run the Dago out of San Diego? Yes. If you wanted a locomotive to be brought back, what would it be? The New York Central Hudson. 
can you do a full West commuter train video at some point? Uh, eventually. When will the ALC 42 be cleared for service? Not sure, but probably within the next month or two. When will you film Amtrak Surfliner on the central coast of California? I have filmed Surfliner on the central coast a number of times before. In fact, I just posted a video last year of it, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. What happened to Toy Trains Galore? It's still on hold until I have enough space to set up a place to film it. What North American Freight Railroad do you think is the most unreliable? I'm not really sure. And what freight railroad is the most reliable? Also not sure. Are you ever going to visit the United Kingdom to film British trains? I'd like to. How do you feel about Amtrak replacing the Amfleet 1's Metroliner cab cars and Series 6 Talgo train sets with Siemens Ventures? Uh, well, I think the Amfleets are about 50 years old now, and the Metroliner cab cars will be almost 60 by the time they're replaced, so it's a good investment. Are you happy that Santa Fe 2926 is back under steam, and do you plan on catching it when it starts its excursion career? Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see it. Would you like to see Metro Heritage units? Yes. Will you post a farewell video to the P-42s? I think I can pretty much guarantee that. How's the ALC-42? Uh, currently still in testing and crew familiarization with deployment in the very near future. What railroad infrastructure improvement project are you the most excited for? Brightline's extension to Orlando this year. What is your favorite Amtrak 50th anniversary unit? 301. Thoughts on the coaster F40s getting preserved? I think it's great news. Have you thought about doing a video compilation of ATSF 3751? I've done several in the past. Do you have plans on seeing ATSF 2926 when they start using it in full excursion service? Uh, no plans because nothing has been announced yet, but I'd like to if I can. What is your personal opinion about the Siemens ALC-42? They're neat locomotives. It was really incredible to seeing them being assembled in Sacramento, and I look forward to seeing them in service soon. How do you feel about Amtrak replacing the F-59 PHIs with SC-44 chargers? Well, the lease expired and Caltrans and Washdot decided to buy new locomotives for the services. I like the F-59s, but I'm glad they found a good new home and Caltrans and Washdot got new state-of-the-art locomotives too. Are you ever going to rail fan in Paris or Las Vegas? I've been to both a couple times. Will you film Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad at all in the future? I have in the past and probably will again. Take a look at the video I posted from there in 2020. Will you film the Albany Eastern, whether it's freight excursion, etc., etc.? Uh, yes. Filming the Central Oregon and Pacific Railroad? Yes. Will you make your way up into Canada at some point in the future? Um, I'm planning on it. Will you film more of the Portland and Western? Probably. Do you plan on filming Washington short lines such as PSAP, Ballard Terminal, etc.? Uh, I filmed a few and will see more in the future, definitely. Do you anticipate to include some Western Washington footage in 2022? Without a doubt. In fact, the first video is coming at the end of the month. What or where did you get that idea to do the multiple shot thing where one camera is facing away? Uh, I've seen a number of people do it over the years. I usually don't move the camera too much when I film and it seems natural to show where the train is going to. I also do it for a variety of different filming angles in case I like one better than the other and to make my filming trips more efficient in terms of gathering the most possible material. From question one, can that be a video? Uh, maybe. Have you had plans or have recorded the San Diego trolley running on the mid-coast section? Uh, no plans, but it's a possibility. Do you have a favorite veterans or first responder unit? Uh, Union Pacific 1943. Will Amtrak save any of their Genesis locomotives and put them into preservation? I'd be very surprised if none of them are preserved. What will happen to the Amtrak Dash 8s? Will Amtrak save any of them? Uh, hopefully. What will happen to Amtrak's baggage and superliner cars? Uh, the new ones will probably be in service for a very long time. Most of the old baggage cars have already been sold off to new owners. What is your favorite Amtrak locomotive? The F40PH. Do you like EMD or GE? Both, but most of my favorite diesel locomotives are EMD. If you were to pick one of the following four railroads from the Core 7 of the 1990s that don't exist anymore to be brought back, which would it be? It would be the Santa Fe. Uh, question two, what is your favorite railroad of all time? The Santa Fe, the Southern Pacific, Rio Grande, and the Everett and Monte Cristo. What is your favorite Canadian railroad? Uh, Canadian Pacific, UP or BNSF? BNSF just because I see it every day. What was your favorite Amtrak F-59 PHI? 455. What is your opinion on the new Amtrak heritage units such as 160 and 161? Uh, they're neat. I really like the 301. 
What is your opinion on the coaster cab cars getting e-bells? Uh, I'm not really that surprised. What is your favorite scheme for Amtrak Phase 3? What is your favorite generation of San Diego trolleys? The 1000 Series U2 cars for sure. What is your favorite Northeast Corridor Railroad excluding Amtrak? Uh, maybe MBTA or NJT. I also like SEPTA and Mark as well as Metro, North, and Condot. What's your favorite North American Heritage Unit? Uh, Amtrak 184. Could you do a video about the two-foot narrow-gauge railroads of Maine? I'd like to. What is your personal opinion on CNO 1309? It's a neat locomotive and I hope to see it soon. Will you do an Avalia Liberty catches for 2022? And what's your top three favorite steam locomotives? I'd like to, and SP4449, UP4014, and ATSF3751. If you could, would you bring back UP3985 to operation? Uh, yes. Any thoughts for 2022? I'm looking forward to it. What are your favorite extinct steam locomotives? The New York Central J3A Hudson and the Southern Pacific GS3. Do you plan to visit Mexico? Uh, maybe one day. Will you head back to Felton for filming Roaring Camp again? Uh, quite possibly. Did you go to any of the rail fairs at the California State Railroad Museum in the 1990s? Uh, yes, I was at Rail Fair 99. Would you like me to do a picture slideshow video about it? What nonprofits do you support? There are too many great ones, honestly, to list them all. Will you ever do a collaboration? Yeah, I've done a few of them and I'll do more in the future. Will you ever travel down here to Houston and Railfan? Um, I'd like to, definitely. What is your favorite short line you've filmed and why? Uh, Iowa Traction, because it's incredibly unique. When will the rest of the Talgo 8 sets be brought over to be put in service for Amtrak Cascades? Last I heard, the plan is to continue to supplement the Oregon Series 6 Talgos with the Amtrak Horizon cars. Uh, face reveal. Uh, I already did a face reveal for the 500,000 subscribers special back in January of 2020. Uh, be sure to check it out if you haven't seen it. Do you think UP844 will come to the Midwest? Uh, maybe, but probably not for a while. What is a good starter camera? Um, honestly, the new cell phones do really good for what they are. Um, Nikon makes some really nice starter cameras if you're looking for a decent DSLR. When will the railroads retire their fleet of Jeevos? Probably not for another 10 to 20 years. How do you feel about Amtrak replacing the Genesis locomotives? It was going to happen eventually. I'm honestly amazed they lasted as long as they did. Uh, what is your opinion on Siemens Charger locomotives? Uh, they're neat locomotives. Which were the good days of railroading? Um, the 1940s and 50s were kind of the highlight of railroading for passenger and freight. Which steam locomotive are you going to look at the first, 1309 or 2926? Probably 1309 because 2926 isn't done yet. How do you monitor or track any trains? Transit Docs is a great website that allows you to see where all the Amtrak and Via Rail passenger trains are. Also, a lot of the commuter railroads have their own train tracking sites and apps now, which can be very helpful. What is your absolute favorite footage you took as a train photographer or videographer? Honestly, there are just too many to list here, but I do really like the shot I got of BNSF-8-563 in June of 2020, as well as the Coaster 3751 meet I got in 2010. Do you have a dream rail line or route you wish to take one day? Uh, the White Pass and Yukon. What locomotive livery stands out to you the most? Is it your favorite? Uh, Southern Pacific Daylight. If you could go back in time to Railfan, what time period would you go and where? Southern California in the early 1950s. What is your favorite E slash F unit from Streamliners at Spencer? I wasn't there, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe UP 949. Do you think you could cover the entire California Zephyr route from start to finish? That is in the works. What is your favorite steam locomotive in Ohio? Uh, Wairika Western 19. What is your opinion of the AEM 7s and the HHP 8s? And when do you think the Caltrain AEM 7s will be put into service? and the Mark HHP 8's taken out of service. Uh, they're really cool, and I don't know. When do you think the last Dash 8's will be retired from the Class 1 railroads, and what railroad do you think will be the last? At this point, I think CSX may be the last. I'm not sure how long that will be, though. What do you think about the multiple big changes coming to the surf line in the coming years, like the coaster possibly going to Anaheim, and increasing speed to 100 miles an hour well they've been talking about increasing speeds for a long time now uh it would be neat to see what is your favorite nevada railroad uh the nevada northern if you plan to visit georgia will you visit the two museums in the metro atlanta area to see the general in texas possibly will a new train talk 
video will be about the ALC 42s. Eventually I will be doing a video on the Charger series, but I wouldn't expect that to be this year because they're still very new locomotives. When will the Coaster F40s have their engines off and moved to Campo and will you be visiting them once they transfer? I'm not sure. The engines have already been disabled though. Least favorite Amtrak Heritage Unit, nah, not sure. Favorite Union Pacific Heritage Unit 1996, which is better, Tex Rail or Trinity Railway Express? Trinity Railway Express. Are you considering coming to Illinois possibly for train action? Uh, yeah, I've been there many times in the past, but I'm sure I'll be back. What do you think about Amtrak's new $7.3 billion deal with Siemens Mobility for new train sets? Uh, they're cool. How is 2021 for you? Uh, it was great. Do you think the Acela Express or the Avalia Liberty train set is better? I'm honestly not sure. What are your thoughts about Via Rail's new Siemens train sets? They look pretty neat. What do you think about the Caltrain AEM7 locomotives testing on the new electric line? It's neat. Do you like Santa Fe 3751 or 2472 better? Uh, 3751, but I really like 2472 as well. Uh, what are your thoughts about Brightline West and the new high-speed rail construction between LA and Las Vegas? Uh, I think it's a neat project. When do you plan to revisit South Florida and see the new F40 rebuilds and the resumed Brightline service? Possibly very, very, very soon. Hint, hint. What are some trains that you've never seen before but you'd like to have a chance to see them? Uh, a bunch of the steam locomotives that are in the UK. What is your favorite engine? 4449. When Arcade and Attica steam locomotive 18 returns to steam, will you be able to make a video about it? Uh, hopefully. Does it take multiple takes to get the right focus light weather for any particular shot, or do you just know how to set up the camera settings? When I'm outside, I have to have everything set up right before the train comes. Uh, so it's pretty much everything is a one take shot. What inspired you uh, to pick the name CoasterFan2105 for the channel? Uh, a model I had of Coaster F40 number 2105. Will you do any train spotting videos in Canada or Mexico if possible? Also, could you do another electric trains galore? Uh, ideally, yes, and also yes, but probably not for another few years uh, because I want to wait until there's some new electric trains running. What was your favorite catch from this year? Eureka and the Glenbrook and the Amtrak 301. Are you going to see the first ALC 42 entering service in 2022? Uh, hopefully. Do you think you can use the I Love Toy Train songs by James Coffey in your videos? Uh, no, I can't really use any copyrighted material like that in any of my videos without going through a very complex and expensive licensing process that I can't really justify for the videos I make here, unfortunately. I've heard of five chime whistles, and if I'm remembering right, three, but I'm not sure what that actually means for steam whistles. That's a great question. Inside a whistle, there are divisions creating separate compartments or chambers for the whistle. These typically vary in height, either externally in what is called a step-top design, or they have internal false ceilings, making some chambers shorter than others. Uh, these are of the either flat-top or round-top design. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to explain this in uh, greater detail in that episode of Train Talk on uh, steam whistles that I promised that I would be doing five years ago, and I still haven't gotten around to doing it. <laughs> What were your greatest highlights of this year? Uh, Victorian Iron Horse Roundup and visiting the Siemens Mobility Plant. Besides 4449, what are your other favorite steamers? Uh, 4014 and 3751. Do you have any favorites from Pentrex? Uh, the B&O Odyssey series is really great. What is your list of some of your favorite rail fanning spots in the Bay Area? Pinole, Elviso, and Altamont Pass. Will you start rail fanning in British Columbia? I'd really like to. What's your favorite type of locomotive, electric, diesel, or steam? I like all of them, but probably steam. What got you into trains? A uh, video my grandmother got me of 4449 as a kid. When will you be heading back to the Northeast Railfan Metro North? I'm going to be pretty busy the first half of this year with trips, but hopefully sometime later this year. Have you ever been to Roaring Camp and Big Trees in Felton? I've been there a number of times over the years, and I do have some older videos on the channel that were posted probably more than 10 years ago now. When is the next Train Talk episode scheduled for, and what is it going to be about? Uh, hopefully very soon. The script is all done, I just need to edit it. Um, I've just had too many trips and other projects to keep getting in the way, unfortunately, for Train Talk, but hopefully we'll have more episodes this year. Do you have any plans to visit Pennsylvania or New York for anything train-related in 2022? Nothing firm yet, but hopefully. Will you do a video based around the new Orlando extension of Brightline? Uh, that is a very likely possibility, but more on that later. 
What are your thoughts on the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad officially retiring the 734 uh, from excursion service? It's too bad, but I'm happy I got to see it when I did. When Amtrak puts the new ALC-42 locomotives in service, will the P-40 and P-42 Genesis locomotives be retired immediately? Uh, no, it's going to take probably until the end of the decade because all the P-42s that run on the Northeast services, the, the short haul Northeast services, are going to be replaced with those train sets that aren't going to be arriving until the second half of the decade. Have you ever filmed steam locomotives operating at amusement parks? Uh, just Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm many years ago. Will you ever rail fan the UP Geneva sub? Uh, possibly. Why do corridor services such as the Pacific Surfliner and Cascades use 4,400 horsepower locomotives, but the long distance routes use 4,200 or even 4,000 horsepower ones? The answer to that question is a little complex, but those are basically just the design specifications for the original SC44 Charger locomotives. Amtrak decided they only needed uh, 4,200 horsepower for their chargers. Will you go see Western Maryland 1309 this year? Uh, hopefully. Can you do a video explaining the secrets to your success on YouTube? Um, I'm planning on doing a video about railroad photography and videography at some point. What kind of rail fanning equipment did you use in your channel's earlier days? A uh, mini DV tape camera from Sharp and later Panasonic. What scheme do you like the most? BNSF H1, 2, or 3 uh, H1? Are you deprived that Amtrak switched to the Point Defiance Bypass? I filmed Amtrak a lot over the last few years on the shore, so I got just about every shot I wanted before they switched over. Are you going to see Reading T1-2102 and CNO 1309 operating in 2022? Uh, hopefully. What's your favorite steam operating in Canada right now? Uh, does 2816 count? What's your favorite aircraft from Boeing? Uh, the Boeing 747. What was your favorite catch in Orange County? 3751 in 2010. Is there any news on 3751 coming back to pulling excursions next year? Nothing new that I've heard of. When are you going to do the next Amtrak train ride video? Uh, I hope you can do the Meteor and the Star. I have plans to do long distance train videos on all the Amtrak routes. Originally my plan was to do something halfway in between the Coast Starlight and the Auto Train videos with more uh, video from the ground but also some onboard coverage. However, now I'm leaning toward doing both different formats for all of the trains so uh, some of them will be more on board focused initially and the others will be more on the ground can you do a video on the new amtrak venture rail cars uh, i will probably do that eventually what is the fate of caltrain's old rolling stock um it's too early to tell at this point honestly have you ever caught a bc rail unit uh yes a few times best moments while you're out rail fanning 3751 meeting coaster 2105 what is your thought on Amtrak replacing their P-42s? I'm not really surprised they've been in service for 25 years at this point. Do you plan on making a train talk episode on another passenger railroad like the Los Angeles Commuter? Uh, I've thought about it, definitely. Can you do a top 10 list where you talk about your favorite passenger locomotives with honorable mentions? I've thought about doing that too. Do you happen to know how much longer the P-42s will stick around once the ALC-42s are put in service? Uh, P-42s will probably be around until the late 2020s. It will take a while to replace all of them. Have you had a chance to catch any of the Amtrak 50th anniversary units yet? I've seen 301 and I've done an entire video on it and I've seen 161. What got you into coaster locomotives? Um, it was the local commuter railroad growing up so it was familiar to me. Can you do some more train talk episodes? I'd love to see some Northeast commuter episodes. Uh, yes, I have several in the works right now. How did you like seeing the new ALC-42 locomotives and Siemens Mobility? Uh, it was an awesome experience. Can you do a video on Milwaukee Road 261? I will probably do a 261 video eventually. Do you miss Metrolink's F-59s? Uh, yes. If Metrolink were to get new locomotives besides F-125, what would they get? Uh, I really don't know. What makes you go to Whatcom County and my hometown of Bellingham so much? Uh, I moved up here a few years ago. Uh, favorite train company, Santa Fe or Southern Pacific. What made you start your channel? I found YouTube in 2007 while searching on another site and decided I wanted to share my videos with other people too. What state do you rail fan the most? Uh, Washington and California. Any favorite extinct diesel locomotives? Maybe the P30CH. How do you feel about older power going away? It's sad, but it's inevitable, unfortunately. Do you like Amtrak, Metrolink, or Coaster? Yes. What is your favorite passenger and freight locomotive? F40PH and the Dash 8. 
are you going to do any train talk episodes on the Hartford line in Connecticut? Uh, maybe, but nothing for a while, most likely. Now that the Chargers have practically replaced the Surfline, how have the Surfline changed for you and good or bad? It's a very different railroad from the one I saw all the time growing up. A lot of locations have changed. Coaster looks completely different. The freight stuff's pretty different. Do you know if any of the Amtrak services like the Piedmont, for example, will get any equipment upgrades? Some of them will, mostly in the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic. What is your favorite American steam diesel and electric, uh, Southern Pacific GS4, F40PH, and the AEM7? Have you ever explored an abandoned railroad? Uh, a little bit, but not really in depth. There are a whole bunch of them up here in Washington State, and I was actually thinking about doing an entire video series on abandoned railroads. Is that something you'd like to see me do? What was your favorite change in the rail industry this year? Seeing the delivery of the new Amtrak locomotives. Will you make a video of your first train clip? Uh, I posted it on the channel a couple times before. The end of this year marks 20 years since I first started filming, so it is very, very likely to reappear on the channel at some point this year. Which is better, F-59 or F-40? The F-40, what special trains that don't run anymore, such as the Metrolink Holiday Toy Express, do you wish you could bring back that you want to see operate? Um, well, I really like that one. What do you think is your best catch that you've ever filmed? 3751 meeting 2105. K5HL or K3LA, uh, old K3LA, what do you think of America's new Brightline high-speed train? It's really neat. What is your favorite freight locomotive? The Dash 8. What is your favorite passenger locomotive? The F40PH. On what year did you start being a rail fan? I've liked trains from a very young age, but I started filming in 2002, although I did take some pictures before that on the family film camera. Have you caught Amtrak Heritage Units? Uh, I've seen 301 and 161. Have you ever been to every state in the U.S.? Uh, I've been to all but two U.S. states. The last two are Hawaii and Vermont. Did you get to see Big Boy last year? Unfortunately, I did not. What is the longest train you've seen? I don't know for sure, but I've seen some intermodal trains that were over 200 cars in length. What steam trains did you see in 2021? Uh, Northern Pacific 924, Iowa Interstate 6988, and a whole bunch of the Colorado narrow gauge stuff. What steam train restorations are you looking forward to seeing complete? All of them really, but I'd really like to see 2926 and 2716. If someone was trying to make a third generation steam locomotive, would you support it? Potentially, sure. What was it like to live in Carlsbad or Encinitas or whatever? Uh, I like living in San Diego, but I really like where I live now. How many train horns do you own? Uh, how many do I own? I own a few of them. <laughs> What's the weather up in Washington? It's been a mix of cold, rain, snow. Uh, some nice sunny but very crisp days this winter. Uh, springs and summers are usually really nice. Would you meet me in 2022? Uh, maybe. What's your favorite cab car? Uh, 6903. Are you a fan of the new era of the Surfline after a couple years, or do you miss the PH and PHI locomotives? I really did like the old stuff, but it's neat to see the new as well. It's been pretty interesting watching all the changes that have happened over the last several years. What are your thoughts on the Reading Railroad and its T1 class steam locomotives? I think they were cool locomotives. I don't know too much about the Reading, but I'd love to learn more at some point. Are you planning on going to the Illinois Railway Museum anytime soon? Yeah, I'd like to go back to the IRM and see 1630 possibly some point this year, not sure yet. How do you get to places around the United States and what do you do when you are in different places and not rail fanning? Most often I end up driving and making a bunch of stops on the way to see certain trains or railroads I want to film. That's probably the main reason I've been able to film in as many states as I have. Sometimes, if I have to be on the other side of the country with limited notice, I will fly, but that has more to do with time constraints than anything else. I don't do too much on my trips outside of filming because that's the main purpose of the trip, but sometimes I will go to various museums or historic sites I want to see. When I was down in Florida in 2019, I actually took a day off in the middle of the trip because it was so long, and I just drove all the way out to Key West because it was something I wanted to do and I'd never done it before. That was pretty neat. What is your favorite LA Metro line and why? The blue line because it runs on the old Pacific Electric right of way all the way down to Long Beach. What do you think of the Canadian Pacific merging with the Kansas City Southern? Uh, okay, so a few people asked me about the Canadian Pacific Kansas City merger and I actually don't really have a strong opinion on it one way or the other. It will be interesting to see what happens over the next few years and also it'll be neat to see CP2816 when they run that again. 
What's one railroad town you want to visit the most in 2022? Um, maybe Deschler, Ohio? When will we see the big boy 4014 in the Steam Trains Galore series? I'm hoping for this year. It would make a nice addition to the 10th video in the series. What is your favorite heritage unit? Amtrak 184 followed by the 301. If you would own a mainline steam giant of your own, what would it be and why? I'd either build a replica of a Southern Pacific GS2 or GS3, or I would restore 4460 into the daylight scheme because that's just my favorite passenger train of all time and I really like the look of those particular GS class locomotives. Will you ever make a special Trains Galore video next year in 2022 uh, on articulated steam locomotives? It's a possibility, but not sure yet. Would next year's Steam Trains Galore video be on the New England Steam Trains? Um, probably not any of those for part 10, but likely in other future episodes, yes. What is your favorite steam locomotive wheel arrangement? Uh, the 484. Planning on visiting Australia? No immediate plans, but I'd like to eventually dream combination on a train caught or hope to get. Ah, oh, gee, two Phase 3 F40s leading an Amtrak train, a matched Southern Pacific Coast Daylight set with 4449 leading the train. Uh, possibilities are endless. What is your favorite train in America? Southern Pacific 4449. What is your dream car? Railroad car or automobile? A uh, Southern Pacific three-quarter dome car for railroad cars and a 1962 Corvette for automobiles. Would you like to come to the UK to see our trains? Yes, definitely. Will you be doing traveling to Canada in 2022 or later? I was originally planning on visiting Canada in 2020, but that didn't end up working out. Uh, I'd like to go to Canada, but I'm not sure if that will be this year or later. Any thoughts on capturing Dollywood's Baldwin locomotives? I'd like to. I know battery and hydrogen powered locomotives are things to come, but could diesel locomotives run on different fuels and recycled fuels? There have been tests using biodiesel, so I, I know that. What are your thoughts on TriMet's Type 6 rail cars? Uh, they're neat light rail vehicles. Any good Bay Area rail fanning spots you've been to? Uh, Pinole is probably the best one. How has Amtrak's Genesis series of locomotives outlived the F40 PH, even though the latter is still running in commuter service and in Canada? Uh, many of the F40s were retired on the early side because that's just when it happened to be that Amtrak got funding for new locomotives. What is it like to be the most famous slash most successful train YouTuber of all time? <laughs> uh, well, it's really neat to think about how many people enjoy my videos. Sometimes it's actually still hard for me to believe how many people are subscribed to the channel and watch the videos every week. It's really quite special. What are your plans heading into 2022? Uh, take a look at the beginning of the video. Have you considered a New England trip for trains? If so, which railways would you like to capture? I went to New England seven years ago this month. I'd like to go back particularly to see the main narrow gauge railroads, uh, maybe this fall. In your opinion, what was the biggest railroading news of the year? Uh, the CPKC potential merger and the new Amtrak equipment acquisitions from Siemens Mobility. Any collabs next year or another toy trains galore? Uh, probably some more music collabs with S.J. Armstrong, possibly some other surprises too. You never know. How do you feel that Michigan might have the first commuter line from Ann Arbor to Traverse City? Uh, that's pretty cool news. Are you going to be posting more videos of coaster and surfliner trains in 2022? Uh, yeah, my plan is to continue uploading at least one video of each every year. Have you ever wanted to film the Vermont Railway? Yes. When will you be visiting New York again? Uh, possibly this year. Out of all the steam locomotives that you have caught on camera over the years, which one is your personal favorite? 4449. Will you ever rail fan in the Chicagoland area again? Uh, yes, I will definitely be back to Chicago. Good rail fanning spots around Denver, Colorado, uh, really anywhere along the Moffat route. Your favorite GE locomotive, the Dash 8. When will you be back in San Diego, uh, like an autograph and a book? I may already be back in Southern California as you're watching this. I will also be making a couple trips later this year too, so um, in terms of a book, are you looking for like a coffee table style picture book or something else like a history book? What do you think of Caltrain's AEM-7s? What do you think will happen to the Caltrain's F40 PH-2 and Dash 2 Cats? I like them. I'm not sure about the F40s, possibly sold off. Uh, it's really too early to tell at this point. What is your favorite type of locomotive color scheme and why? Southern Pacific Daylight because it's incredibly vibrant. Have you seen me? Yes or no? Uh, yes? 
do you like the CP military units slash heritage units or kinda the CP ACUs in general? Uh, yeah, they're neat. What is your most favorite heritage unit from every railroad currently in operation? Uh, 184, 1996, 1066, and 3115. At what age did you create Coast Fan 2105? Uh, I was a teenager at the time. Do you have any formal video editing training or are you self-taught? I took some video classes in high school and a handful in college and the rest I learned on my my own. What influences you to make the videos besides YouTube or any social media? Um, I love documenting railroads and how they're changing in the modern era. Looking back at past railroad photographers and videographers and how they documented different changes that happened to the railroads over the years, it's really neat to think that I'm doing the same thing in the present era. Someday, None of this stuff will be running regularly anymore, and the only Jeevo and Charger locomotives will be in museums. I think documenting this stuff is something that will be worthwhile. Do you think it would have been great if Amtrak had gotten MP Express locomotives? It would be interesting for sure. Uh, do you wish you could travel back in time to see when train fleets were a whole lot more classic? Uh, sometimes I think that would be neat, but I think it is just as worthwhile documenting what's happening now. Uh, time marches on. Would you want more of the newer stuff to have the old K5LAs? Yeah, without question. What do you think will happen to Amtrak's P-42s upon retirement? My guess is they will continue to be used somewhere, at least some of them. If Amtrak needs them for service expansions, they may continue on there or end up on commuter railroads. Uh, keep in mind that by the time Amtrak retires the last of the Genesis series, they will be approaching 35 years plus in age. What was it like catching the last of the older Amtrak Cascade Talgo Series 6, and will you miss seeing them? It was really neat. The Series 6 Talgos were without a doubt my favorite passenger trains of the modern era, and they are definitely missed. Favorite rail line, uh, the BNSF Bellingham Scenic or Seattle subdivisions. What was the most catches you got ever in a day? There was one day when I was on the Hudson River and I caught something like 50 trains in one day. What places have you not been to before that you are considering visiting? I really want to go back to Alaska. I've been to so much of the country, most of the new locations are out of the country at this point. I'd like to finish going to all the US states as well as covering some areas I haven't spent as much time in before. Which tourist railroad has the best holiday train? I haven't been on any in a long time. I know the Durango and Silverton puts on quite a show with their Polar Express trains, but there are a lot of great ones all over the country, including the Pear Marquette 1225, which was the actual locomotive the train in the Polar Express book was based on. What's your opinion about filming at museums? I think there are lots of neat photo and video opportunities at museums, and I'd like to film at museums more in the future. Coming to SoCal anytime in 2022? I may be there right now. Will you ever railfan the Durango and Silverton again? I was there last year and posted a video on the new diesels. I will be back uh, in the not too distant future, I'm sure. How was 2022 different from 2021? Uh, well, I don't know about 2022 yet, but I did a little bit more traveling in 2021. Otherwise, things weren't really that different for me. What's your favorite commuter railroad and why? Uh, for years, it was the San Diego Coaster because that was my local commuter train. What's your favorite spot you've ever rail fanned at, and what is your current main camera? My two favorites are Sunnyside Beach in Stillicum, Washington, and the Sunset Seat at the Cliffs in Del Mar, California. My main camera is the Canon XF400. What is your favorite Amtrak SC44 charger? I don't really have a favorite SC44, but my favorite ALC42 is the 301. If you're hoping to go overseas, what is the country you always wanted to go to? Uh, for overseas travel, the UK and Australia are probably at the top of my list, but there are several others that I'd like to visit as well. Are there Amtrak train routes that you plan on taking next year? Uh, there are several I'd like to take, but I haven't made any plans yet. Are you ever going to visit the racetrack at some point? I visited the racetrack in October of 2016, but I will probably be back next time I visit the Chicago area. Any thoughts on visiting Franklin Park? I've been there several times and will probably be back at some point. What is your opinion on the new long-distance Charger locomotives? I like them, I think they're cool looking locomotives and I think it will be neat to see them in service. How do you get access to Amtrak events? I've worked with Amtrak going back to the video I did with them for their 48th anniversary uh, a couple years ago and so I asked Amtrak and Siemens about doing something on the rollout of the new ALC42 locomotives and they liked the idea. What steam restoration projects are you excited for? Too many to count, looking forward to see Santa Fe 2926 completed in Albuquerque and the CNO 2716. Additionally, it's not really restoration but I also think it'll be 
really cool to see the 5550 when the T1 Trust is done uh, constructing that in a couple years. What was your favorite new location you photographed this year? Um, new location? There were a bunch of them along the route of the California Zephyr when I was in Colorado in the fall that were just fantastic and the same with the Empire Builder over Stevens Pass this summer. I also visited some neat locations when I was in Iowa filming the Iowa Interstate steam locomotive. How many trains do you normally get to ride on in a year and have you ridden on all the tourist trains in the US? Probably less than you think actually. As much as I like to ride more trains, I spend a lot more of my time filming them from the outside. That said, I got to ride somewhere between half a dozen and a dozen times in 2021. When are you coming back to the Northeast? I had plans to visit the Northeast last fall, but I just had too many things going on. Right now, there's about a 90% likelihood I will be making a big trip to the Northeast during the second half of this year. Has it been more difficult for you to rail fan? Uh, yes and no. Being outside, it hasn't really had much of an impact on actually filming trains. However, there were fewer passenger trains running for a while, which made filming some things a little bit more difficult. A favorite fallen flag is a tie between the Southern Pacific and the Santa Fe, and then right after that, I'd probably say Rio Grande and Great Northern. For Eastern Railroads, either the Baltimore and Ohio, New York Central, or Chesapeake and Ohio. How did you get into train videos and pictures? I've gone into more depth on that question in a previous Q&A video, but long story short, I got a video of the 4449 Daylight Steam Locomotives from my grandmother when I was young, and I have been hooked ever since. Are any Amtrak locomotives scheduled to be replaced? Uh, the Genesis series, including the P40DC, P42DC, and the P32 ACDM are all currently scheduled for replacement over the next decade, as well as the Dash 8 locomotives that are currently used in yard and work train service. What is your opinion on Metrolink using mixed cars? Uh, I think it's good for addressing capacity issues. What is your favorite NS Heritage unit? Uh, probably the New York Central one. What was your favorite steam train that you saw in 2021? That's a tough one. I saw so many neat locomotives. Uh, probably the Rio Grande Southern 20, followed by Iowa Interstate 6988, although I really liked seeing the Eureka and the Glenbrook uh, wood-burning steam locomotives. Well, that's pretty much everything. Thanks for joining me for the 2022 year update and Q&A video. I'm amazed we made it through all those questions, but somehow we did it. An additional thanks to everyone who submitted questions for the video. With the next big milestone of three quarters of a million subscribers in close proximity and a bunch of exciting plans, I think 2022 is going to be another great year. I'll see you next Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time for an all new railroad themed adventure right here on the YouTube channel. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.